What's going on, Jeff fans? We know Ashton Davis just re-signed with the team, and CJ Uzama is with another team. The veteran tight end has signed a one-year deal with the Philadelphia Eagles. And no, uh, first uh, question that pops up is, do we get the comp pick now? Because we only needed one more free agent in order to have the comp pick formula swing in our favor for Bryce Huff. Now, Ashton Davis doesn't count against us in the comp pick situation because he was one of our own uh, free agents. He would have counted um, if he signs somewhere else, but pretty much Ashton and CJ signings have no bearing on the, the comp pick. The Jets still need one of Mekhi Becton, Carl Lawson, Al Woods, and Billy Turner to sign qualifying offers before the draft. I think Billy Turner and Al Woods might be done with football. Becton, you know, still 25 years old, former first round pick, did manage to play all every, uh, every game but one last year. I assume Mekhi Becton will be on a roster, but he has to be signed before April, uh, tw before the draft, pretty much. So mm, not sure there. I think with this tackle class, teams might kind of wait and see. And maybe Becton wants to wait and see uh, where he has the best opportunity to compete to start. Carl Lawson, it seems like he still wants to play. He's posting workout videos on his Twitter, and he did visit with the Miami Dolphins. So I think Lawson and Becton will be rostered. It's just about do they sign before the draft. If they do, given the Jets don't do anything else uh, signing players from other teams before the draft, then they will receive a fourth round pick in 2025 for one Bryce Huff. And we'll talk about soon.